But we're rolling. Cameras are rolling. Audio's rolling. Can we get a hiya? Check, check, check. How do we do? What are we doing? Who let the dogs out? Okay. Do you know you want to do it? It's the Trinity at work. Scotty's going to have a time doing that. We will follow. Action. Andy. For the you. It's for you. Oh, yes. Y-O-U caps. Small T-H. What's up, guys? Welcome back to the Youth Podcast. This is episode number eight, Eight. and we are so excited that we are doing this. This is our first one without Pastor John, Um, so we're just going to talk smack. for Canada. Yeah. Yeah. Um, But yeah, we're super excited. Yeah. Um, We're going to talk all things like summer and like really give you guys the, the details for summer and hype it up and like all the exciting things that are going to happen we're going to talk about internship youth camp uh team church just everything that's going on this summer so uh yeah but let's start it off like do we have any like funny internship memories or yeah i can go Go i so my first year here was 2019 Mm -hmm. um and i had been at the church for two weeks Mm -hmm. and john handed me pastor john handed me the the um like application to do not to do no to do internship and yeah. camp and so i'm like okay i'll say yes um Such a PJ thing. i know and so i'd been to the church for two weeks didn't know anyone and he asked if i could shuttle up early before all the campers got there to unload food and so i get to the shuttle really early and we're just loading hot dogs and like a whole bunch of meat and different smelling things in the shuttle in the shuttle and if you haven't ridden the shuttle you don't know that it gets hot on that thing during the summer the ac does Mm -hmm. not no ac not work (laughs) so the whole way the furthest thing from all we could smell was hot dogs (laughs) and it was absolutely Mm -hmm. disgusting and i was sitting next to maddie lewis and she thought I didn't like her because I was just awkward and didn't know how to talk to people. <laughs> so, yeah, it smelled like hot dogs and I was car sick and uh, it was really great. And we got off and we all smelled like hot dogs and gross. Yeah. yeah. So I guess that isn't really funny. It was just more gross. Just but gross. <laughs> I mean, if maybe not internship, just like <laughs> summer in general, like yeah. from youth camp, TC, like anything. Should I share the mouse story? Oh, have gosh. I ever shared oh, the mouse story before? Maybe on podcast. Maybe. I can't remember. I don't, I don't, I don't think so. I don't think so either. Um, was this summer intern camp or was it youth camp? It was, it was before we camp. did like official. Okay, so youth then it had camp. to have been summer intern. Camp. It was like intern camp. Okay, yeah, yeah. yeah so intern <laughs> camp awful. a few years ago, and I j- let me just start with this. Pastor John does not like anything rodents. Honestly, I feel like anything, anything that crawls. Small. Anything. Yeah. No. Anything mm-hmm. re- that's a living spiders, and crawls rats, and is small. Especially spiders. So <laughs> during intern camp, you know, you usually bring your snacks. You bring your cheeses, your goldfish, whatever. I had, like, I went to the store. I was ready to go for intern camp. I had <laughs> gushers. I had gold che- uh, goldfish, cheeses, all the things. And uh, we kept them in the tent. And I had Ginger with me, I had Imani, I had... There were quite a few people. Quite a few. I can't remember everybody, but that day, we didn't know you weren't, or you were supposed to zip your tent all the way when you leave it. So towards like the bottom, there was a good little few inches that were open. Um, And we go to sleep that night, and we were talking about pranks that day. So my assumption when I was going to bed, I heard, you know, people, it's what to me sounded like people walking around our tent and kind of just messing around with us. And so I'm laying there, everybody else is dead asleep. I can't sleep. I'm laying there just staring at the ceiling of the tent and the noise is like periodically getting louder. And I'm like, okay, I finally said something. I was like, okay, whoever's out there, this ain't funny, just go to bed. I'm tired, I don't want to deal with this right now. And it kept going. like kept going and it started getting louder like closer (coughs) to me louder and so i finally was like okay forget this i turn my flashlight on i have a flashlight on my phone the second i turned it on in the corner of my tent there was beaming red eyes staring at me in the corner of my (laughs) tent and i like i literally freeze I don't know what to do. There's two eyeballs looking at me. And so I get up like slowly in the second, like I made noise to get up. 
it scurried off and started oh. doing laps around my tent oh. next thing i know it's small so i'm like there it's not a rat it's got to be a mouse at this point i'm freaking out like tears i'm just dead silent tears are rolling down my face and so i try to like wake everybody up in a non-emergency way i don't want them to think like there's a fire mm-hmm. but i'm like y'all need to get up right now like yeah. get out of this tent there's a rodent in here get out and so nobody really got up within i mean it took them a few minutes imani dead asleep she's like the heaviest sleeper i've ever met i was shaking her everything she did not get up everybody else exited the tent i went to pj's tent i was shaking his tent in tears i was like pj you gotta come like i can't get it out i'm like dying at this point i'm it it was awful but pj respectfully no help whatsoever he thought i was pranking him this is like four in the morning he's like lily I'm not getting out of this tent. Yeah. This is a joke. To like, defend him. Yes. He's like, I know. He's on edge. Right. He's on edge. He's thinking like we're trying to get him out of his tent to, I don't know, pour water on him. Yeah. But I'm like hysterically crying. And I'm like, PJ, I'm not playing. Like you need to get out of this tent. You have to come help me. I There was no other way for me to make it seem real. So I just like, I straight up, I shook his tent and I was like, get out like right now. I had to get firm with him. And so he finally gets out and he comes over and he stands there and he turns on his camera turns on his camera and starts videoing the entire <laughs> thing doesn't help us whatsoever <laughs> he stands like five feet away from everything is standing there recording the whole thing i'm sure he still has the video oh yeah Probably. I-, I will send this to you so you can yeah, play we'll you will it. literally we'll see me it. tears no mission accomplished there was a mouse in my bed what was that oh it's cold <laughs> Oh shoot. <laughs> Come on, Lil. Mission accomplished. I hate mice. <laughs> and you can see Ginger uh, grab the bag. So finally, what happened was the mouse got into my uh, like duffel bag of clothes. Oh. The second it went in there, Ginger grabbed the bag, chucked it out of the tent, clothes everywhere. And then next thing you know, you see the little mouse screaming off. And I'm just in the corner, hysterically crying. Imani's dead asleep. That thing was crawling all over her, all around her head. Poor Anyways, man. moral of the story, close your tent. your tent. Zip up and your tent if you have, have tent snacks leaders. in there. True, true. I tell them every single summer, I'm like, please zip up your oh, tent. Man. Because I always think of this story. Because you've told me before. Yes. Every time, I'm like, oh my god, at night, I turn on my flashlight and I look, look around, around my tent. I'm like, okay. <laughs> We're okay. Everything zipped up. Well, That's I mean, what I do too. And sometimes, like I, I actually like to sleep outside. I don't like to sleep in my yes. sleep in my tent because Dude, how? because it's so hot. Yeah. And like. And you're and not it's actually, concerned about the rodents and the things and around you. No, it's this, great. This it's past great. summer camp, I I was sleeping next to you in Scotty's tent, mm-hmm. and I woke up and I'm feeling great. And I check I check the mirror in the showers, and I just have a swollen lip. Oh. From, I guess like a bug bit me oh. while I was sleeping, and I mean it wore off like two hours later. Nobody yeah, was up. We fine. wake up early. You're fine. So nobody seen it yeah. except for me. But I I didn't even like because one time we were in the field at night with like a group of, and we heard you might not remember this we heard like a mouse like scurrying. <laughs> No, Close, yes, because we were watching the stars yeah. and we were laying on the ground. <laughs> it was bad. And it went like, whew, like I right next it. to us. I booked it. And you could hear it. And we were just, I don't even think we had blankets. We were just straight no. laying on the grass, staring mm-hmm. at the stars. It was a few years ago, but it was a, a group of us. And mm-hmm. yeah, that was bad. Um, that was wild. But what about yeah, the sunburns? Oh, God. The sunburns? That sunburn straight coop. red. I think myself. Uh, this Reese Reese Griffith, um, shout out Reese and uh, Max Weens mm-hmm. had the worst sunburns ever. I think it was yep. Youth Camp 21, 21. And there's a picture of me where uh, my back is just beat red. Like oh, there's, man. it's the worst thing ever. But wasn't put it, on sunscreen. Wasn't it Cooper last year? Yeah, Cooper Coop got a bad, bad one. Burn. Yeah. Yeah, bad burn. Yeah. Reese's, Reese's was well, funny because he couldn't go out in the sun at all. <laughs> yeah. Like he had to sit out. Cooper? Oh my no, God. Reese. Oh, Reese yeah. and myself. Like yeah. it, if I had, I would, I had a, a t-shirt and a blanket 
over my back and I could still feel the sun just like burning. Oh, it was, it was so bad. No boy. But Reese's was funny because we, there's like those, those bars of sunscreen that you put on your face. Yeah. And they use that for his back. So you look at his back and it's just, just streaks. Zigzag. <laughs> But uh, so more yeah. of the story. Put on sunscreen put on and sunscreen, zip up your tent. Zip up your tent. Yes. Um, yeah. All yeah. the things. There's probably so many yeah. summer memories. But uh, mm-hmm. yeah, keep your head on the swivel. Yeah. yeah. Gosh. Um, but we we also want to like talk about like uh, the serious or the more um, detailed part of camp. Like camp, yeah. nothing else like compares is like it. Yeah. Like. Things yep. happen there that don't happen anywhere else. Like it's especially last year when we told kids or not kids, students, uh, no <laughs> phones. Mm-hmm. Yeah. No phones was like a big like game changer, I think, yeah. of intentionality and like just engagement Yeah. Um, across the board. Yeah. And for those of you who ha- are like watching this and you're like thinking about camp and you're like, oh my gosh, no phone. I can 100% tell you every student i talked to is like wow this was such a great idea like at first it was difficult but i'm so glad that i didn't have my phone it's okay to lose your snap streak yes yes yep and i feel like even too there's really no time to just like sit and scroll you're either playing you know our competitions or like Mm -hmm. you're playing during free time you're out there having fun playing spike ball cornhole volleyball, volleyball all the things like there really isn't time to just sit and be on your phone yeah and like you also you create conversation yeah. oh my gosh throw back to the like exactly olden days <laughs> where you had to sit down and have conversation with yeah. people yeah. like but then you connect and you create friendships at camp that you probably never thought you would ever Absolutely. have in your entire 100%. life 100 so, percent. Yeah. 100 percent. no yep. phones no phones uh is a big big deal um yeah. i th- and like it's just so much there's no time to or it's the best time no this is what i was gonna say i lost my train of thought but we we sat down and pastor john actually told us this when we are at camp we are around you guys like when you add up all the hours we're around you guys more at camp Mm -hmm. than we are the entire year yeah combine all the thursdays that we're together true true and we're around you guys just as much, if not more. Yeah. And like, so that's that's, that's a big deal for us. Like, yeah. that's why we love youth camp because we are around you guys and yep. we get to pour into you guys and, and just hang out. I just right. love hanging out at yep. camp. Mm-hmm. Like, True. you know, we have services, we have all that and those are fun and yep. games are fun, but like, it's the spike ball, it's mm-hmm. the volleyball, it's just sitting around a campfire Mm-hmm. that it makes it just yeah. awesome yeah the free awesome. time hits different it does mm-hmm. it does i would say that yes the services you get fed so much mm-hmm. but i think when it comes to chains being broken it's the free time to where you just get to connect with other students that you don't even know of because i i made a whole different friend group last year right. that i'm family with now yeah. i hang out with them every day and it wasn't because of the services. It's because of the free time tour. We just sit and talk about random things because we didn't know each other. Yeah. yeah. So, yeah, I would say the free time is probably the most empowering, mm-hmm. I guess, time you have when it comes mm-hmm. to camp other than the services. Yeah. yeah. Right. Even just like the tent time, yeah. like before, like in the mornings or when we're heading to bed at night, being oh able gosh. to just, I mean... We, we know the girls like to talk and those girls would <laughs> chat it up till at least like one or two in the morning. Right. But those are the kind of times that, and you're in tents with people from other locations or yeah. somebody that, you know, maybe doesn't even, even attend church. church. Yeah. yeah. Or even, yeah, first time ever coming mm-hmm. to some kind of church youth camp event or whatever it is. But like, those are the special moments that I feel like we never really talk about is yeah. the yeah. tent times and the free time where you create the connection with friends and you you grow friendship like you were saying i mean i uh i had met friends at in 2019 when we were in mm-hmm. idaho camp and i'm still friends with them like to this yeah. day and uh, i just had a conversation about it uh the other day and he was like yeah i didn't even really get a choice my parents were like 
you're going to youth camp <laughs> and he showed up and he went yeah. but he created friends that now years down the road mm -hmm. are still yeah. friends with yeah so absolutely That's moral of the story come to youth camp come to youth mm -hmm. camp mm -hmm. and then after youth camp uh yeah. we have we have a cool um series planned we'll we'll just talk about this for a second but yeah. Yeah. you know youth camp you're on the mountain and you can't stay on the mountain right. so we have a a uh, a series called altitude sickness mm -hmm. where we're talking about coming down off of the mountain and yep. just how to deal with that and just also yeah. the importance of it um we'll have a one big night which that's going to be fun volleyball mm -hmm. tournament and all that um Sam Pitt but back. then right at the beginning of august our team church's church. biggest event team church mm. yeah. um so let's talk about that let's yeah let's talk about that i want to go back to what you're saying really quickly about like when you're at camp you're on top of mm. the mountain mm -hmm. like that is so true like yeah. you're just being fed morning afternoon yep. night yeah. like yep. you you're gaining so much and um you talked about this a little bit right beforehand but yeah. about your uh your reading your bible study you're doing yeah like it's just it's crazy that when we go to these things like we're being fed but we're also like being prepared mm -hmm. to go out and so like yeah. do you want to talk do you want to talk about <laughs> that to yeah to because that? it so, was just so good what you were saying earlier uh so i was watching it was actually last night um i was watching manny rango talk about um fasting as well as um the sabbath and he was talking about fasting and how jesus he went up to the mountain to fast for 40 days 40 straight days and he was tempted by the enemy tempted by all these things mm -hmm. and if you notice he went up to the mountain to prepare for his ministry he didn't do it during his ministry he did it before his ministry so when you think about it our entire summer not just youth camp is yeah. the mountain we're going right. up to spiritually prepare for high school for the next season of our life yeah. like you know all us that are out of high school it's new jobs or marriage or you know all these Jeez. things like preparing spiritually yeah up on the mountain you get fed you you are just filled up so much and it just prepares you for that next season of life and mm -hmm. you know it's it's the mountain's important mm -hmm. but it's also you can't stay there yeah you can't yeah. stay there and you have to you have to come off the mountain to do your ministry like Jesus did like Moses did. Moses yeah. went up to the mountain to get the Ten Commandments from yep. God, and God actually paused and sent him down because they were worshiping an idol, and he was like, "These people are whack. You gotta go." <laughs> yeah. Like, and Moses, like, I, I didn't know this, but God was going to basically do an, another Noah thing. He was gonna wipe the earth mm -hmm. and start over with Moses, but Moses actually changed God's mind. Like, yeah. you, you can't. You can't understand why he changed his mind, but right. he came off the mountain to minister to the people of Israel who mm -hmm. were whack. Mm -hmm. um, like, which, what's whack in our world right now? Culture, yeah. society, that's like literally. everything. Yeah. So, sorry, that was a long thought. No, that's but, really good because but we yeah. have to come off the mountain. Yeah, because summer is this, th I mean, it's our biggest, mm -hmm. or like for us as leaders, it's one thing after another oh. like it's boom 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 and yes. so it's a like, marathon and a sprint at the same yes, time yes, <laughs> yes. <laughs> all the things um but like we're doing so many things and like we're also being fed but like um uh, like team church and all of these things like mm -hmm. they're big mountain moments for us as yeah. well as leaders yeah. mm -hmm. and so we we have to remember that like we can't just stay in that space yeah and so i think it, i yeah i'm glad you said what you said <laughs> but team church team church <laughs> <laughs> moving <See>? on <laughs> it's a it's kind of like it used to be our youth camp like when i was growing up yeah that was our youth camp when we didn't have youth camp. i didn't know that it was we did tribal wars we called them and i don't know if we're allowed to announce it but like maybe you could bleep it out just in oh, case but yeah. our theme oh of mm. team church this mm. year until we get confirmation and if he says no then bleep it out <laughs> but our theme is yesterday uh -huh. today. today 
forever. I believe for yeah, this year. I believe so. I yep. And then also big news. So we've done youth track yeah. in DuPont <laughs> for the past two years, but drum, drum roll. roll, we get to do it right here in Tacoma in yeah. our newly updated youth area. Very um, newly updated. And uh, we get to enjoy it. We get to sure. yeah. share it with mm-hmm. other churches. Um, yep. And um, it's going to be so much fun. Yep. I, I, I actually didn't understand the... Uh, power of team church until a few years ago like connecting with other churches and like people who do the same thing as me right. at a church in kansas at a church in florida yep and yeah. like we that's how we were introduced to trevor ritchie yeah and like yeah. trevor ritchie's a big so like good, yeah. part of our like big events and yep. our ministry like we've partnered with him and mm-hmm. Yeah. vice versa and uncle trev uncle trev <laughs> and like so our team church network or our tribe as we call it is just so much so yeah. much value and yeah. yeah and like we always we always say here like church isn't just a place to attend but a community to belong to and that is such right. a true statement and mm-hmm. it's not just like you should have community here but like having other people who are in other places and other spaces like there's a lot of power in that because Trevor Ritchie, like his experience in Florida could be very different than our experience here. Like the yep. things he's dealing with over there could be very different from what, yeah. and so yeah. like there's knowledge and things to be learned from, mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. from other people. And so yep. I just think that, yeah, team yeah. church is Absolutely. the place to be. Even just, I mean, following that, even just like ideas, I we had, yeah. um, uh, a pastor that came not so long ago for a dodgeball tournament and they were like this is amazing and right. they've never like thought ever to do an event like that so to be able to you know fly out guest speakers and then have them attend our events or even just things that we do at team church yep. and then we always are like giving off ideas or grabbing ideas yeah. from others and i mean we're ministry you're doing it together yeah, yeah. so it's like it's there's the big, no the bad C, idea yeah the there's big C church you, you're always finding like great um mm-hmm. you know sources structure and he yeah he one of his uh team members had reached out to me and was like i need to know how you did this like play by play <laughs> i was like okay let's do this right. but even just um I, I mean we just watched another youth ministry do the dodgeball, the dodgeball. Yeah. it was trevor trevor yeah, Richards, yeah. yeah. Trevor Co- coast life yeah. youth like the fact and it that awesome yeah we yeah. can invite others across like anywhere yeah um and then they come here and they we just you know pitch our ideas to them and we get ideas from others and i mean even when pastor john came back from coast life youth when he had preached over there he was like guys i got great ideas we need to start with this and like we got to run with it and so just it's a really cool thought of you know when you do ministry with people all over the world you're you're getting new ideas you're getting a lot more uh yeah, a lot more planning events, all the yeah. things. So, yeah. yeah, and it wouldn't be yeah. possible if it weren't for Team Church. Yep. So shout out PK. Yep. Yeah. Love you, man. <laughs> the Team <laughs> Church organization. Um, yeah. But yeah, and then mm-hmm. during all of this youth camp, Team Church, one big nights, the whole summer we have Thursday. internship. Oh. Yes. yes. Well, Thursdays yeah. too. Yes. <laughs> but we touched on like funny internship memories, but internship and like we were a part of internship like you were a part Mm -hmm. of internship you were a part of internship last year right correct Mm -hmm. yes and internship is like i don't even know how to describe it yeah like it can be the most frustrating thing but also like (laughs) the thing that grows you the most right Um, yeah i mean yeah you're here tuesday thursday you're moving things around but you're also like taking classes you're reading books like there there's so much that you can gain from internship if you take the time to um appreciate yeah appreciate it yeah Yeah. i feel like he's fresh out of internship yeah i mean from last year what i guess my question to you is like what what was some of your you know highlights of or some things that you loved about internship i mean this one story um uh-oh. No, no, it's good. <laughs> I, I got I got the opportunity the to go to Idaho with Dave Quantrell oh, yeah. and Josh Buck. And I didn't even know. Um so about the week of. And I feel like you it was know, the day of. Yeah. Um all I got was a call saying, Hey, 
pack for about a four day trip. Um, you're going to help somebody out. And it was fun, but the only struggle from that was I hung out with the coconuts <laughs> the day before. We went cliff jumping and everything, rope swinging, and tried to do a trick <laughs> on the rope swing, and it just got caught on my foot oh. and sliced my entire foot. Oh. And knowing me, I, I played it off like it didn't hurt. Yeah. But the next four days of work in, I think, 102 degrees <laughs> with the wrong shoes. I brought Oof. the wrong shoes, guys. I brought Crocs. Just walking around. Oh. I brought Crocs doing all yard work. I was about to say Burks as a joke. But no, 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 no. So I brought my shoes, but when I put it on, it hurt so bad right. for my cut, so I couldn't wear it or it was going to get worse. Yeah. But just, you know, all jokes aside, you know. <laughs> I just see you out there like Crocs, oh, dude, barefoot, yeah. just limping, yeah, trying to dig I, up dirt. Oh, yeah. Dave, Dave Contro was... He said, you ever tried Neosporin? <laughs> I was like, what's Neosporin? Oh. You didn't know? Oh, my <gasps> gosh. Yeah, I was, dude, dude I was barebacking it, man. Oh, it was bad, bad until that's we took, so like, my socks off and everything. He's like, what is that? <laughs> like, it happened yesterday, man. Sorry. But, no, yeah, I got I got fed, and I, I got, I guess, educated. <laughs> wait, just fed on, spiritually or yeah, physically? Yeah, so he was like, wait a sec. Uh, both. both. <laughs> but, yeah, no, I love internship. I was going to say. If I was younger, I'd. I would do it other than the two years I've already done. Right. And I think internship helps with like appreciation for absolutely yeah. our events. Mm -hmm. And like, cause you're, you're working. Oh, you're yep. working. Yeah. We do not like, you're not necessarily going over to Idaho all the time, but like <laughs> yeah, right. for team church, it's all hands on deck. And mm -hmm. like before, well, I didn't, I didn't really not do internship. That's that's the hard part. But like, you, people not having to like work to set up team church, yeah. just walk in and like, oh, this is great. Yeah. But don't know what goes into it. Mm -hmm. But as an intern, you know what goes into every event that we do, and like, mm -hmm. just so much more appreciation. I think the culture that we built on just intentionality and dedication, because. The set schedule is Tuesdays and Thursdays, but with big events like Team Church, I was here basically every single day because <laughs> if we were to just stay on Tuesdays and Thursdays, I don't think we would have been ready for Team Church. So just having the sacrifice and dedication to come on days that you're not supposed to be here yeah. and having the heart to just work everything through was probably the why it's, I guess, so important to show appreciation of what... <laughs> Sorry, man. Someone's using the bathroom. Water above pipes us. above us. <laughs> but yeah, it's so important to show appreciation not only for the interns, but everybody working yeah. behind the scenes for Team Church. Yeah. But yeah, that's all I do. Yeah. Want. No, I, I think that's really good because it, like, we're talking about all this work that you're going to do during internship and, it, like, <laughs> but, like, it doesn't sound good, but. No, but what's, what's crazy about it is when you are being invested in. And you're learning more about God. Like, it's the same thing that we say about sin. Like, when you have a relationship with Jesus and you, your sole goal is to know Jesus, you don't want to sin. Mm -hmm. It's not like, a okay, I don't want to do this or I don't want to do this. Or, I, like, I can't do this. I can't do this. It's like, no, I don't want to sin because <clears throat> I know Jesus and I would, like his spirit is inside of me and so like there's it's the same thing with internship like mm -hmm. when you are investing your time like it's not like you feel like you have to do all of these things like you want to help god's house yep. like yeah. you want to right. know him more through doing all of these things and it's like like in your case you talked about how you learned about finances and like you gained knowledge for that like every single person's experience in internship they're gaining an an individual like thing that they are receiving like each person walks yep. away with internship with something else that they learned yep. and it's like yep. every single person that comes leaves with something that they needed and i think yep. that's why internship is so beneficial it's not because yeah. we're doing all of these things or you're i mean yes you're taking classes and you're being invested in but you walk away with a new set of skills and knowing why we do what we do right yeah, yeah. i was gonna add on to that with 
you also are growing in like a capacity of where you're serving yeah so like what we started last year um and we've even done it in the past but like we set out times in the afternoon for you to go um grow in wherever you are serving so Mm -hmm. say you're in media you're sitting down with a staff member like that's on media and you they're training you and teaching you how to do these type of things so it's like you in the afternoons that that was one of my favorite parts was to go around and just watch students grow in their capacity of just where they're serving or maybe it's something they're interested in like photography they're sitting down and learning how to edit a picture um (laughs) or even just event planning to be able to you know sit down with a group of students that is interested in how do you plan these events and how can i add value how can i um you know uh give good ideas great ideas for you know this next one big night coming up because if we're being honest not saying we're old but like the next generation coming up oh, they man. know what's cool yeah. they know what's trending yeah. and we don't know that all the times and so even when i was in high school i didn't know what a lot right, of these yeah, yeah. right yeah <laughs> yeah and also like when you if you are looking to serve in a higher capacity sometimes it can be like i don't know for me as the person that i was like i want to serve but i like don't know how and i don't want to overstep and all these things and so like if you want to serve in a higher capacity internship is the place for you to be because like like we're gonna we're gonna stretch you you know what i mean so absolutely yeah i think something to add on to that is when it comes to getting out what you put in Mm -hmm. something from being fed is you're surrounded by such great leaders from from this church and in this church so it's not just us youth leaders that get to feed into them it's also someone like pastor nicole or troy pollock or even pastor kevin on did i say that right <laughs> yeah did I say that right yeah pollock yeah, yeah. Pollock. Pollock. Troy pollock. pollock yeah 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 like people like even our senior pastor is here sometimes feeding into yeah. him when yeah. he has the time to come in and yeah the whole thing about internship is when sophie said i guess leaving with what you needed you get to learn Mm. to go out into the world and give out to others what you've learned in internship but it takes i guess hmm, how to say this putting yourself in and having that open heart and mind to where yeah i get it i get out what i put in yeah so how i can take something differently out of internship than you do it just depends on how much we put in yeah and feed ourselves but That's also good. the other people around us yeah, really, good. really good but yeah. yeah i think that is all we have this summer right yeah i feel like yeah did we cover all the bases we did i think the last thing that i want to say is like if you are feeling hesitant sorry this is like stuck <laughs> if you are feeling hesitant about like maybe you're watching these podcasts and you don't even come to our church or, you know, you're you're here, but you're not, you know, you're leaving right as service yeah. ends. Like, mm-hmm. I want to speak to you for a second because, like, how do I say this? Like, God wants you here. Mm-hmm. Like, God wants you in his house. God wants you serving. And so if you feel at all called to do that, which everyone should everyone (laughs) let me say (laughs) like that like this is the place for you to be and um yeah i i forgot what i was saying i think i like blanked what like when i think of soph and even myself like we actually all of us we wouldn't be here if it wasn't for internship actually no yeah i think i would not be the same person if it wasn't for internship I wouldn't be friends with Sophie right. if it wasn't for internship. Mm-hmm. Like we're, we're all friends because of internship, like, and summer and yeah. team church and yeah. all of the things that we went through together, like because of internship, because yep. of team church, because of youth camp. Like, yeah. Yeah. so. Yeah. No. Yeah. And like, if you, if you want to grow in your confidence, the mm-hmm. church is where you need to be. Oh, yeah. mm-hmm. If you want to grow in your faith, the church is where you need to be. Mm-hmm. If you want to grow in your friendships, the church is where you need to be. Like your answers come from being in God's house, reading right. God's word. Yep. Obviously that's number one, but like, this is the place to be. And like, you're going to have the best experiences, yep. the best yeah. time. So yeah. Yeah. one yeah. thing I want to also add into that is just stay committed 
yeah like wherever it is yeah. um when when it comes to you know internship uh you know you can, whatever it is within the church like i would say stay committed it's really easy to you know start something and then that like you're you're at peak your high is there where it's like yes i'm so excited and then you know it, it eventually fades but i, I don't quit on it yeah. um just stay committed and i promise you when you stay committed like the opportunities come mm-hmm. they uh the yeah the opportunities the job opportunities whatever it is like uh, how you were talking somebody said it earlier where you get what are you um you get out what you put in. yes you yeah. get out what you put in but even just applying it to your everyday life mm-hmm. when i was working at fat zacks i was in leadx but also i mean learning things from summer internship i had applied those to me being like a shift lead of okay no one was really doing all like meeting huddles in the beginning so it was Mm -hmm. like i had a structure because i learned from summer internship and lead x of okay this is how you know you start a meeting and this is how you can Mm -hmm. encourage your team and being able to apply that to my daily job yeah just it's things like that that you just stay committed um be all in and yes they carry over so yeah, don't really be good. hesitant. Take yeah. the jump yeah. and then stay committed. Yeah. Really, really good. Go to youth camp. Yep. Sign up for internship. Yep. Yep. Go to team church. Yep. And, and come here every single Thursday. Every single <laughs> yeah, Thursday. Stay committed. And Sunday. And Sunday. And, and Sunday. <laughs> and you have to come off the mountain. Like, yes. Yep. This summer is going to be a mountaintop. I assure you that. Yep. It's going to be a mountain. Yep. But we have to. Yep. yep. But the things down. you walk away with are mm-hmm. going to be absolutely that much better. Yep. So. Yep. Applications yeah. are coming out soon. Yep. You can register for youth camp literally today. You right can, now. Uh, what is it? CC dot church slash youth mm-hmm. on the website. Forward slash, not backslash. Just Forward slash. Sure. Just it's also sure. a link in our bio. Yep. yep. Champion Center Youth Instagram. Uh, what else? Team Church. Yep. It's coming up. <laughs> Registrations are gonna come up. So do what you need to do now get the fundraising going for yeah. money whatever it is yeah yep yeah Dang. get registered just today <laughs> you just lost your thought <laughs> yeah. okay anyways that's all we got for you guys this summer is gonna be great yep um, wait what is one thing you're looking for for this summer oh gosh one word go um camp <clears throat> pranks relationships oh wait i'm getting married this summer yeah, yeah. whoa brother <laughs> forget about it <laughs> special teams sorry man. anthony uh connections oh, Anthony, Anthony, that Anthony was it that was all thank I wanted. you uh thank you for tuning in to episode eight see you on episode youth podcast nine see you on episode Shoots, nine. peace <laughs> <laughs>